I'm going to go through two worked examples regarding direct variation. And the way you solve direct variation is very similar to ratio, except that we are going to uh, have to find a constant first to be able to um, solve the rest of the questions. Um, so it's not like numerical variation. This is algebraic um, method. So I have y varies as z, so it means they are proportional. So as soon as you see y varies with z, so you have to write this. And you can replace this variation um, or proportional sign with a k instead, um, where k is a constant that you're going to try and find based on the numbers given to you. So this is precisely this. Um, and the way you can find k is by substituting these numbers in. Now, why are we doing this when they didn't ask it? Well, when I find k, I then have an equation, and then I can use this equation to find y and to find z when needed. So even though the question didn't ask you for it, do start with this step and so that you could continue. This is very similar to when you do similarity question and enlargement questions. Um, they don't ask you to find the scale factor, but you know that you have to in the beginning. So this is a similar concept. Um, so to find k, I'll just substitute the two values I have. So they tell you that when y is 2, k, uh, z is equal to 5. And so you solve it like you would. And this is k is equal to, sorry, to, 2 over 5. So this is my k, and it means that I can rewrite this as y equals to 2 over 5 times z. So now if I want to solve part a, um, I need to find y when z is equal to 6. I'll just go 2 over 5 times 6, and that will just be um, 12 over 5. And you could leave it as a fraction, you could leave it as a mixed number, it's completely up to you. Um, and it's up to you, but unless the question specifies a specific form. Uh, for the second part, we have you need to find z this time, and y is equal to 5, 2 over 5z, and then you solve this. So if I move this whole thing to the other side, it's going to reciprocate. So I'm going to get 5 times a 5 over 2 equals to z, and this will give me 25 over 2. And again, you can leave it as it is or as a mixed number um, or as a decimal. So this is a more direct um, question, but a lot of the times you'll get a worded problem. So have a read through this question. Um, they're telling you a proportional, um, but it's proportional to the square of its mass. So the, the value of a diamond is proportional to the square of the mass. So always try and translate it this way, and I can convert this to such. Um, and they've given us two values. So if a diamond has a mass of 10 grams, and then it's worth $200. So the value is 200 if the mass is 10 grams. And this way I can find k. So k would be equal to 200 divided by 100. And so k is equal to 2. So I have that v is equal to 2m squared. And using this, I can solve both parts. So I need to find the value. So I need to find v if the mass is 30. So v is equal to 2 times 30 squared. And that will just give me uh, um, 1,800. For part B, you need the mass, but you have the value. So if the value is 5,000 and the mass is unknown, you solve it. You first divide by 2 on both sides. And then you have... Um, then this will be uh, 2,500 um, and then you take the squares on both sides and that will give you the value of m which in this case is 50 so m is equal to the square root of 2,500 
uh, which is just 50. Uh, make sure you have the units there. Um, so 50 grams. So hopefully the um, explanation is clear about how to solve um, direct proportion.